Oh man, that looks delicious. <laughs> Mabu High Squad, this is so special. What an opportunity, right? Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. What's up, Mabuhai Squad? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? Welcome to the Mabuhai Squad farmhouse. And guys, we're entertaining some very special guests. If you saw the last vlog, we are welcoming today Chef Gino Gonzalez. Hi. Guys, he is cooking up a feast. <laughs> You're our first celebrity chef to prepare a meal in our kitchen. I'm honored. <laughs> we're so excited. Look at those steaks. Awesome. And guys, it's China. Welcome. Thank you. Blue High School. Yes, we've been at your place several times. Mm -hmm. Now we're happy to welcome you and I'm to glad our place. To be here. Yay! Thank and you. they're sleeping over! Yay! And guys, I'd like you to meet the daughter. This is Lucia. Hi. Hi, Lucia. And guys, she's an animal lover too. She knows so much about different animals. Where is Alexa? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, perfect. Um, the youngest is getting ready because they're gonna go in the pool. Yay, we're all gonna go in the pool. There's Nika, Bustos, yes, cousin. And look what was brought. <gasps> the Glenlivet. Wow, single malt scotch whiskey. Okay, normally I don't drink brown stuff, but I'll take a shot of this. Only because Chef Gino over here um, brought it. Oh my, look at this. So there's like sour mango. Mm -hmm. And then um, it's shaved, and then green beans. We'll keep it a surprise. Uh, so, Mabu High Squad, you gotta stay tuned because I'm so interested to see what Chef is going to cook. Oh, Alexa! Wow! Alexa, you're the first kid to be in our pool. Did you know that? This is Alexa. And you match our pool, your bathing suit. Yeah. How cute. Nunate, what's your name? Hilda. Hilda? And this is Hilda. Hi, Hilda. Yes. How's the water? Is it cold or hot? Hot? All right. It's cold? Oh, no. So, guys, we are busting out our hardcore grill. RJ ordered this. It was custom made by, like, some grill designers. Like, it's a grill. They were, like, a grill company. Barbecue grill building company. Look at it, guys. It's so hardcore. And I was like, oh wow, it's so old school. It's got cranks and stuff. But when I posted this online, a bunch of like barbecue grill enthusiasts messaged me saying, where did you get this? So apparently it's really cool. And we've made burgers and steaks on it already. It's really awesome. So cool to see a professional use our kitchen. <laughs> and guys, Chef said he enjoyed our knives. Mm -hmm. It's a good brand? Yep. Awesome. <laughs> Uh, the brand we use is, what's it called? Wustoff. Wustoff. That sounds German. What cut is that? Uh, this is um, hanging tender. <laughs> hanging tender? Yeah. <gasps> so we're going to do a stir fry with this one later. Oh my gosh. Mm, that's how my stomach just started to growl. RJ, I'm so excited. Our kitchen's being le used like legit by like professional. Guys, um, Gino and China have a culinary school and you teach cooking. Yep. Where can people look up the, uh, to contact in case they want to take your class? Oh, yeah. Uh, we have Instagram and okay. Facebook. It's called Center for Asian Culinary Studies. Wow. We have a Manila branch and Davao branch. Interesting. Congrats. <laughs> That's great. And look, they've brought all their ingredients <laughs> and stuff. Nice. Even ice, perfect. Oh, what is this? Until the end of the trip. Oh, little tiny peppers. <gasps> That's enough from the house. From the house? You yes. grew this? Gina planted yeah. them. Oh, wow. We, we'll leave that we so we can, know, we can harvest. It's called Ceiling Demonio. It's a, that sounds hot. Yeah, Ceiling a, Demonio. Uh, I believe it's a cross between Ceiling Labuyo okay. and a, uh, uh, I think a Carolina Reaper. Oh my gosh, I was gonna say Carolina Reaper. Oh, this is gonna be spicy. Guys, RJ's Baywatch floater arrived. RJ, look at what arrived. <laughs> Guys, we're blowing up this whale for the kids. Yes. Oh, it's yellow. Okay, that's new. Sweet. We need this for safety, obviously. So RJ and I bought a bunch of towels just for the pool, pool towels. So they come in red and blue um, and they will be our, our official 
uh, pool towels for guests. All right. Alexa, look. A big whale. An orca whale, but blue. From Vietnam. We brought it. We, 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 what? we bought some. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> you brought herbs from Vietnam? Yeah. This is cumin? Uh, I think it's cumin leaf because it tastes like cumin, cumin leaves. Cumin. Wow. We, we had this with uh, your favorite boon chas spot. Oh, yes. Yeah. One oh. of the leaves was this one. Oh, sweet. We call it Rao Mung Mo. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, guys, in case you didn't see our previous vlogs, we all recently went to Hanoi. And actually, it was their trip, and they invited us to go join yeah. them. And we're like, oh, heck yes. Um, and we ate our way through Hanoi, ate so much good food. Um, and one of the things that we loved about Hanoi, Vietnam, were the vegetables. I can't believe you guys brought vegetables from Vietnam. Hi, Edmark. Hi. <laughs> guys, how cool is this? All of you old school Mabuhai squad, have I not been saying that one day, we would invite celebrity chefs to come and cook in our kitchen, right? And now it's happening. It's legit. We're going to invite more chefs um, to our place to cook. Um, I believe next weekend some chefs are coming. We've invited Ninong Rai to come. Um, other chefs in the Philippines, very well known. A lot of them have said, yes, we're, well, we're happy to come and cook. Can't wait. Mabuhay squad, for those of you in the Philippines, who should we invite here to cook? I just want to eat. I'm a professional eater. <laughs> China, what are you cutting? This is um, lemongrass or... Lemongrass. Or tanglad. Tanglad. Want to try? Are you a cook too? Yes. Wow, Lucia. Oh wow, look at her handling that huge knife. So you tuck your fingers in. And then... Yes, there. Wow. Huh? Awesome. Small, small, Thinner, very thin. Good job. Guys, I love the smell of lemongrass. Mmm. Smells so good. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, our other guests are here. From Bylosis Squad. Hi, oh, the whole family. Oh, so cute, hey baby. Nice to finally meet you. Welcome. Hi, 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 welcome. Guys, this is Anna and Eric, Bylosis. Welcome. Oh, yeah, guys, and thank you. Enjoy the pool. We're gonna eat and enjoy. So, guys, these are the owners of, well, they run Torres Farm and Resort in Naik Cavite. You guys ready to swim? <laughs> your family your family was here recently yeah. right guys Mabuhai squad so um, Anna's originally from Siberia yeah. and your Siberian family was here the same time my Canadian family was here and your vlogs are so cute can you introduce them Nikes? what are their names this is Ate Nikki Nikki hi Nikki Mishka Mishka there and Bunso and Bunso no, is that Sophia? Sophia and the Bunso, the baby, the new baby is Bunso. Bunso uh, And do they speak Tagalog? No. Russian. What? You're like quadruple lingual. Yes. Awesome. Oh man, this is gonna be a full house. And hi, Ate. What's your name? Romina. Romina. She's the uh, care. Taker of the kids. Hi Nathan. Hi. Hi Nathan. His name's Nathan. Hi Nathan. You're so cute. Yeah. Say hi Nino Mikey. Hi. <laughs> and of course we've got Amare La Cucina Pizza. The best pizza in the Philippines. Mmm. Okay guys, goodbye caloric deficit. <laughs> guys, this is Pinoy Boy Pizza. A recipe that I like invented off the top of my head. And then they added it to the to the menu. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh wow! Look at here. Come, Mishka. Don't be shy. Choose what you want. Mm. For this hot weather, nice cooling popsicles and ice cream bars. Yum. Mabuhai squad. The advantage of having restaurateurs as friends is endless supply of stuff. We got Amare coffee. Yes, my favorite. 
coffee beans. You can buy it at any Amare La Cucina restaurant in the Philippines. Oh, and sardines! Yay! Thank you guys. You ready to see the birds? Come. This is our aviary. Yes, see? Do you guys want to try feeding them snacks? All you have to do is hold this out and hopefully they will land on you like this. Here, look. Come. This is Gabriella who's coming now. She loves, she's the most tame, this one. Come on. Good bird. So all you have to do is let your hand out. So she's gonna go back, she's gonna finish this, and then she's probably going to come to you after, okay? With birds, you have to be really patient. Sometimes they come, sometimes they don't. They're a little new to children, so maybe, that, maybe that's why. They're a little scared. Here, okay? Mishka, just move a little closer so that she could reach. Gabriella's the bravest of them all. There you go. There you go. Awesome. Sweet. Okay, Sophia, let's see. Let's see if the birds will take from you too. Okay, I'm gonna lift you so you could get closer. Yeah. Don't be scared, see? How is that? Good. <laughs> the, this is a crimson-bellied conure. These are the smaller birds. They land on, they like to land on heads. They might land on your head. Go, Gabriella. Come, here, you land on my hand and then you can, come. Good bird. There you go. Wow. <laughs> go, Mishka, you can feed the crimson. Let's see, let's see if he'll come. I don't want them to breed. Oh, he was going to land on you. Or she, she was going to land on you. Guys, Gabriella loves she's, Sophia. She's so cute. She's like uh, interacting. Yeah, she's the. She, this one is the most brave of the birds, mm -hmm. and and of the conures, it's this one. This is probably Ruby. Ruby is yeah. Ruby and Gabriella are the two birds that are least shy. There you go. Try again. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, the conures coming to Mishka. Awesome! Yay! Sweet! Good job! And look, see how they carry the, the, the nut with their hands? They use their claws to hold the food. Alright! Ruby took nuts from Nikki. Good job, Nikki. Oh, Gabriella's totally being spoiled by you. Is she trying to bite you? Oh, she's trying to bite your finger. <laughs> She's like, I wonder what that finger tastes like. Job, Mishka. Mishka, you're a bird whisperer. He's feeding a ruby now. Gosh, look at the co I really love the colors of the crimson belly colors. The adult feathers came in now, so they're like, so vibrant. This is awesome. I love seeing the birds interact with the, uh, with the guests. This is the boy, this is Marcelo. Yeah, he's he's too, Yeah, he's uh he's warmed up to you guys. All right. Oops. Just lift it. There you go. Awesome. <laughs> did did it pinch you a little? Guys, look at this meat. <gasps> mm, I could eat it just like this. Okay, the kids want to see the ant room. All right, kids, look, but don't touch. This here's the ant room. This here is my newest colony. See, come up and watch your step. This here is the net floor. See the ants, the giant ants behind you? We got them from Hanoi. Yeah, it's new. We just installed this like this week. Giant ants. Yeah. And kids, look. A net floor. It's a net floor, see? Yeah. And then you can look out the window. Look at the forest. Be careful, kids. Yes. <laughs> no need to be scared. 
You're afraid of heights? No need. Here on the roof deck. And those are the birds. Oh! The conures are coming to say hi to us up here. Hi guys! They love it up here, these conures. Alright guys, I'm gonna make some drinks. Ice Club 33 glasses. Yes. Are you Disney fans? Know this? And popping out the vodka, low calorie. Yes. Oh, perfect. And then I'm gonna add some lemon Perrier. I call this the Mabuhai Squad vodka soda. Kind of boring. Let's, what should I call this, guys? Let's call this the Mabuhai Bite. And then a little bit of acai berry. Mm. And then last but not least, an olive. Do I know if this will taste good? Of course it will. Not that I've tried. But in my mind, it will taste delicious. <laughs> Don't worry, you could trust me with your alak. With the Alright. It's a little strong. A little strong. Okay. Here. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Let's try it together. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, wait. Oh my gosh, the pressure. I'm drinking with China Kwako. I hope it tastes good. Cheers. <laughs> Tastes like vodka. Alright. <laughs> what? <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Apparently this is pan panucha. Uh, palm sugar. Palm sugar? Yeah. Interesting. Let's try. Mmm. 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 Can we Sige, Sige. <laughs> See now the alcohol is kicking in now. Um Guys, I think the Mabuhai bite needs a little bit of palm sugar. <laughs> Guys, a little bit of palm sugar for the Mabuhai bite. <laughs> Guys, can you tell I'm just making this up as I go along? Okay. Um, mm, that palm sugar is good. The palm sugar tastes like maple syrup. A little bit. Alright, guys, they're trusting me to make the sangria now. Of course. Alright. Guys, Edmark, can you help me make the sangria so that they don't just blame me if it doesn't turn out well? Don't worry. As long as there's a buzz. So guys, don't think we're alcoholics, because we're not. We rarely drink. But we are careful when we choose to drink. It's when like there's a big group of people, lots of memories that will last us a lifetime, then yeah, we will let loose and drink a yeah, yeah, yeah. So, let's make this sangria, cuz. Usually we would add like lemons, grapefruit, orange, lime in our sangria, but because we're in the Philippines, we're going to add mangosteen, we're going to add calamansi, and we're going to add... Do you need pear? Yeah, pear. Oh, we can add pear. Yeah. So first ingredient to every sangria is red wine. And personally, I like the sangria pretty strong, so I'll put it orange. Like that. Ooh. All right. Okay. So go, guys. Just like go. So this here, guys, is mangosteen. Here on the vlogs, I've sung my praises for this fruit. Of course. My favorite fruit currently. Yes. Oh, I've never had sangria with mangosteen. Ooh. This is gonna be interesting. And then chef is cutting, you know. Chin is cutting some. Yeah, and we're getting some pear from Korean pear. Well, one more. Yeah, why not? Okay, guys. I know. We gotta be positive. Let's do positive affirmations. This is the most delicious sangria ever. Of course. Okay, but it needs a bubbly element. So usually I would add. 7-Up or like... So the water. Oh yeah! We oh, yeah. I completely forgot we had this. Where's the Guys, water? we're gonna make the sangria in here. This is for... We know, we know what we're doing. No panicking. Um, guys... Tom Cruise from Cocktail would not panic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this, okay. this bowl is for, you know, for... for christening. There. Guys. 
Bubbly agent. Bubbly agent. Oh, Chena did an awesome thing. This is your pear. The pear and with. And I just added the panacea. Oh, that's gonna Anna be. Anna likes it slightly sweet. Oh, that's gonna be delicious. So, oh, so later a... it will be so sweet. You'll drink everything. Oh my gosh. Mm. OMG, what? chef is adding zest. <gasps> oh, this is gonna be the best, the best sangria ever. See the advantages of having a chef as a friend. Have you been cooking your whole life? Almost. Yeah. Wow. That's such a practical skill. Oh. Interesting. Oh, interesting. <laughs> OMG, guys. Honestly, this sangria has like 30 ingredients. 30. Try it. Eric, tell us honestly how it tastes. Is it? It took you a while to decide. I don't think like what it tastes like. Is it like uh, cola with uh, sweetness? I think that's all it is. It's not as sweet. We need that's to add. Sweet. We yeah. need to add more sugar. Guys, Raquel is here. Hi. Welcome. Cheers. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Anna, how do you like it? What do you think? She <laughs> finished the sangria. I, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> Guys, this sangria is so good. It is so yummy, all those ingredients. And you know what was the ingredient that tied it all together? It was Vida. this, the Vida C. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> Raquel just runs the brand. Guys, it is really good though, so good. It's a little bit better than Mabuhay Bite. <laughs> all right guys, this is it. How is it kids? You like it? Yeah. Awesome! Whoa, you're causing waves, Mishka. How's the water? Perfect. Perfect. RJ, are you swimming? No, yeah, after. Okay. Love it. Mobuai Squad, this is the dream to host our first pool party. Woohoo! It's quartz. Yeah. Quartz, okay. quartz marble. Yeah. Is it yeah. more expensive? Um, I mean, it's not like marble, marble. But it's, I don't know. Yeah, all our countertops are quartz. All right, guys. How long have I been saying this? I'm going to be the bartender. Yeah. <laughs> Serious now, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be char in charge of everybody's buzz. Okay, what do you guys want to drink? Sangria. Sangria. Got it, Eric. Do you have any other... How's the water, guys? Good? All right. Okay, guys, we are already breaking the rules by having glasses around the pool. Not only that, like our Club 33 collectible glasses, but we'll make an exception today because this is a special day, our very first pool party. So we have citronella candles burning everywhere um, to keep the mosquitoes away. And guys, it is a nuptial flight for termites. There are termites flying everywhere tonight. Guys, I'm out here serving drinks. How's the sangria? Awesome. Got all the poisons ready. And I got my drinks ready. Guys, we even have our sound system hooked up. The music is playing all over the property. The kids have an interesting playlist. This is a Korean band. Guys, I'm bartender. Okay guys, the grill. Mm, it smells so good. Chef, this is awesome. It smells so good. Hot dog, hot dog for the kids. Wow, this is so cool. Guys, this is awesome. Hi squad, we can't wait. We're already picking at the tuna jaw. Mmm. Oh my. Mmm. 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 Guys, that that tuna jaw 
diba? Grilled is five mabuhay stars. <gasps> Yellowtail, it's more social than tuna. Oh, it's yellowtail tuna? It's yellowtail. Whoa. OMG, Mabuhai Squad. It is so good. It's good, right? Oh my gosh. No, it's just salt and pepper. Oh, here's ponzu. Here. Ponzu sauce with it? Daddy's best seller is Kajos. Oh my god. Mm. What's the ponzu made of? Soy dashi yuzu. Wow, it yeah. is so like, <laughs> is it lemon? It's like yeah. sour yeah. slash it's, uh, salty. Yeah, uh, yuzu. Mm. We put yuzu peel. Uh, the Japanese lemon. Yes. Oh yeah. my gosh, it is <laughs> so good. Oh my gosh, my boy, Scott, if you could taste this. It's yellowtail? Tuna. What's yellowtail? Hamachi. Hamachi, it's not even tuna, guys. Mm. This is a key. Hamachi. Hamachi jaw. Oh my gosh. Hamachi jaw. Oh, it is so good. It is so good. Look at it. Okay, so you dip it in the ponzu. You got the biggest piece. Oh, it is so yummy. China, have you had this? You've had this. I've had it. Oh my. I'm currently working right now as a lightsman. Oh my. <laughs> it is so good. Squad is a friendship. Yeah. So, uh, she's doing this for you guys. Work. You have to work for this, guys. So, guys, apparently, Gino and Tina sell this. 1950. How can people contact from, you? From Japan. IG. Yeah. IG. OMG. Chef Gino's Kitchen. Chef Gino's Kitchen. It's from Japan. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that fish is currently my favorite fish. It's even better, guys, than like pampano. It's better than pampano, guys. OMG, it's so good. Especially with the ponzu sauce. RJ, you need to try this. Okay, but dip it in the ponzu. Dip it. So it's not tuna. It's not tuna. It's, it's related. Good, right? Mm. Yeah. It's related to yeah. tuna. Oh, related. wow, guys. It, say, it is I so good. Okay, guys, honestly, it's another level when a chef is preparing the food. So next is steaks from Chef Gino's kitchen as well. Look at those steaks. It's so beautiful. Look at all the spices. All right, guys, so now we are going to eat the steaks. Well, we're gonna eat them inside. Um, RJ set up a simple tablescape using these awesome placemats, which are a collaboration of Itokish and Raho Laurel. Yes, beautiful, right? How are the hot dogs? Delicious. Delicious? All right. Whoa, a blowtorch. Wow. And that's just to char the outside? Uh, yeah, just to give it a bit of crusting. Oh, crusting. And charring the, the fat. Interesting. <laughs> Oh man, that looks delicious. <laughs> Mabuhai Squad, this is so special. What an opportunity, right? I mean, how often will you get a top tier chef, right, to prepare a meal for you in your own home? That is a big deal. <laughs> OMG, we're tripping out at him using our pots and pans, right? Yeah. I'm amazed with the uh, underground exhaust. Oh, yeah. That's right, our exhaust here. It's what? Dried beef from Hanoi. You guys got a lot of materials from Hanoi. Oh, I could try it. Let's try. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh, it's spicy. Slightly spicy. Mmm. It's like sweet. It's like a beef jerky, but sweet and dry and chewy and spicy. Mmm. Guys, it's gonna be so good with that salad. And the fresh green pepper. Cilantro and fresh green peppercorns. Wow. All from Hanoi. That's awesome. Oh, guys, look at those beans. If you could smell what we're smelling right now. Oh my gosh, guys. Those steaks, though. Mm. Hello, butter. Oh, and you're gonna cook those, the meat. Remember that chopped up meat? Oh, so good. Guys, if you could smell this right now. Oh, what is that? Uh, little olive oil. Olive oil. The okay. burns longer. 
Oh. Oh. Okay. Wow. So that the butter burns longer and you don't get the burnt taste. I didn't know there would be a burnt taste with butter, but okay. Ginger, onions, chopped up garlic, um, cilantro roots, and the cumin leaf. Wow. Oh my, look, there's just so many ingredients, guys. Honestly, culinary arts is, it's an art, but it's also a science. Wow. Oh, cuz, does it not smell amazing? We're dying, guys, just smelling it. Oh my gosh, he's adding the hanger steak now. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Look at that, guys. It looks so good. Oh, it smells good, guys. Mm. Oh man, Mabuhay Squad, if you aren't eating right now, go to the fridge, get something. Get chips, don't torture yourself because guys, we're gonna be eating in this vlog. Oh wow, ribeye? Mabuhay Squad, mm. that steak was five Mabuhay Stars. Oh, so the steaks are from you too, chef? You supply that as well? These ribeyes? Mm. Oh, look at that fat. Oh my. Mm. The fat? Oh, you put it back. Oh, so we reuse the fat. Okay. And then where do you put it? Oh, I see. Back in the pan? Okay, and Mark's having a piece. Me too. Because, guys, it's so good. We Oops. can dip it in the ponzu, apparently. Okay, no, no, no. If you, you need to dip it twice. Okay, twice. Why? Huh? Uh, Why? It's double dipping. Mmm, okay. yeah. Mmm, yeah. Mmm. Wow, guys, look. Look at the fat. So it's going back in the pan, and they're just going to reuse all of this fat to cook other things. All right, guys, it's time to eat. Finally, watching this being prepared has been torture. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, look at that steak. <gasps> We've got veggies, so beans. And guys, this is also Hanoi inspired. Like some of the vegetables and spices used. Wow, wow. And then this was the other beef. Wow. Mm. And then this, I've been wanting to try this. This is some kind of salad. Whoa. Mm. Oh my. Of course, we have rice. We got black rice. Sweet. How is it, cuz? So good. And then we're drinking it with, we're pairing it with Angry Brunch. Lodi. Zinfandel. Lodi. Um, which apparently goes well with uh, barbecue. We, RJ and I had this in our stash and we don't remember where we got it. It's California wine. Oh, chef says this is really good wine. This is also our wine. We don't know where we got it. Okay, my high squad, look at that. Oh my God, let's try it. Okay, so I've already given this steak five Mabuhay stars. Let's try others. First, let's try the, the mango salad with like dried beef. Mm. Okay. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. Woo. And it's spicy. Oh my god. Yeah, the salad is so good. The cilantro. Mm. Five Mabuhay stars for that salad. <laughs> chef, so good. Mm. And then what is this again, chef? Uh, well, it's a Vietnamese inspired stir fry. Vietnamese inspired yeah. stir fry. <gasps> so we got Vietnamese sate and uh, the, mm. the cumin leaves. 
that mm. you brought from Hanoi. Oh my gosh, Mabuhay Squad. Even that too is five Mabuhay stars. Mm. Beans. And then the steak though. Mm. Try this then. The salad. Guys, RJ has to try this. <laughs> right? Legit, it's spicy, legit. it's legit. Oh my god. Mm. Now we mean business. Kids have gone to sleep. Gina is chopping up the lemons. And we're having a repeat of Hanoi with tequila. Look at that, guys. We have our shot glasses from all over the world. You choose Chicago, um, Vietnam. This was one we bought like six years ago, though. Or seven years ago. Which, Melbourne, Australia. Uh, Afghanistan. We've never been there. Okay. Um, let's do it. All right, everyone's taking the shot. Uh, yes. Birthday to you. <laughs> thank you for dinner, guys. Thank you, thank you for inviting us. Yeah. Like the Mabuhay Farmhouse yes. kitchen takeover. All right. Guys, subscribe to his channel. Yes. All right, guys, pool time. Woo! We got chips for everybody. Yes, go. Yum. Nika's in the pool. All right. Oh! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Hi squad, this is so awesome and so fun. So cool. Guys, it's over. We have water guns. Oh my god, yours is more powerful. This is not fair. It's so fun having this guy. Good morning, guys. Yes. Uh, we're having breakfast, tablescaped. I guess RJ was up early today. And for breakfast, we've got, we've got bacon, eggs, and it looks like chicken nuggets. Mm. Freshly brewed coffee too. Morning, Lucia. Did you sleep well? Did you hear birds? You did? Awesome. She heard lots of birds in the restroom from the window. There's RJ. Good morning, RJ. <laughs> and guys, fresh coconut in the morning. So good with our bamboo straws. Good morning, guys. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Guys, we're showing China and Gino our herb garden. Apparently this is lavender, guys, and it's blooming. Also gave them hats. These hats are from Vietnam. That one is from Texas. Looks good. How are things, Alexa? Is the water warm or cold? Cold. All right. Enjoy the pool. Such a beautiful day. See that? Taking them around. I think RJ and I should invest in, like, hats to give our guests when we give tours because guys sometimes it is so hot like today super sunny this here is staff house yes oh wow they're finalizing this gate sweet see this swings open so we can go in i like it it looks good can't wait for this pond to be done they asked me what are you putting in there oh my gosh guys i'm having the same feelings as when we were building my aviary I'm doing so much research and I still can't decide what to put in here. I think eventually it'll get to um, large predatory fish. But for now, I think I'll just stick with small guppies to cycle the pond. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, Bahai Kubo. The people are coming for the roof, I believe, this week or next week. 
And I think this Baikubo is really cute. I would love to like sleep here one night. Love hanging out at this back area. See? Forest views. Um, I think we're gonna plant in the forest too. Make it a food forest and just spruce it up a little bit. Food forest. So we'll plant veggies and fruits in there and just harvest as needed. No fertilizer needed because the forest kind of fertilizes itself. All the fallen leaves and stuff, animal poop. It's a cool way to farm. Hashtag permaculture. And because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. Yes. Rizal. So China is from a very well-known and prominent family of celebrities. Um, business owners you if you're from the Philippines you know them and it's and they're so down-to-earth and just so cool I love that about them uh, Tina you have a show coming or are you allowed to talk about it you have a show coming up for Amazon they Prime haven't, they haven't given us a go signal okay really awesome a series yes. all right Eight episodes? All right. So, guys, look out for that on Amazon Prime soon. Again, Chef, thank you so much for last night. Wow. The most incredible meal we've ever had here. Yeah, it was a total kitchen takeover. Yay. Thank you so much. All right, my Buhai squad. It has been an epic vlog. Thank you so much for tuning in. Really means a lot to us um, and for joining us on this kitchen takeover of Chef Gino and China Guanco here. This was so fun, guys, hanging out by the pool. We're definitely going to do this more. Um, and you know, it actually reminds me of, do you guys remember when we were in LA last year, towards the end of last year, and we got to hang out with the Grainings? Uh, the inventor of The Simpsons. They invited us to their beach house in Malibu and it was kind of the same thing, like just a circle of friends and their kids hanging out by the pool. It's just you enjoy things more when you can share it, right? Um, and so these past 24 hours has been really, really awesome. Hanging out in the kitchen, hanging out by the pool and around the home uh, with our friends. So Mabuhai Squad, you as our friends, Thank you so much for joining us on this awesome journey um, here at the Mabu High Squad Farmhouse. If you enjoyed this vlog, be sure to hit the like button as it really helps us a lot. It lets YouTube know that our vlogs are worth sharing to new audiences. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Come join our Mabu High Squad because we will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. Love you. See you in the next vlog. Bye. Mm -hmm.